Uh, hello everyone and welcome back. In several of my previous videos I have uh, demonstrated on how to implement uh, multi-training in your C++ Builder applications. Uh, today I'm going to show you yet another approach and that is by using uh, C++ standard library. Uh, in order to do that uh, I'll revisit uh, one of my old examples and in this case we have uh, uh, my tthread increment class which is nothing uh, uh, but a tthread implementation as we can see here my tthread is nothing but a tthread and what each thread does it uh, tries to I mean it increments a shared resource which is variable n in form 1 for 100 times okay so uh, in this example here we have uh, 50 such threads and after uh, all 50 of them um, increase uh, a variable n for 100 times we expect to uh, have a result of uh, 5000 right but as we noticed in uh, the last video uh, about multi-training itself uh, that is not the case we have 4821 and uh, 4880 uh, etc so uh, constantly we get incorrect and inconsistent results and that is because uh, uh, multiple threads uh, are uh, actively I mean concurrently accessing the shared resource uh, meaning at the same time and we said the solution is uh, to use a critical section where uh, only one thread at a time can access this part of the code and uh, the rest of the threads are waiting uh, their turn right and once we have a critical section okay we get a correct result uh, each time right so uh, what I want today is to show the same example but now uh, implemented using a standard uh, C++ library since this is C++ builder uh, you can of course uh, use a, a standard uh, thread implementation as well and in order to do that you need to include a, a thread header and in our case we are going to uh, show uh, mutex as a locking mechanism so we need to include a, a mutex a header as well and uh, I'm just going to add another button here okay so this will uh, demonstrate the C++ uh, 11 approach I believe uh, threading was introduced in C++ 11 standard okay so what we want is to create 50 threads and each of them to uh, increase uh, a variable n it's a sh it is a shared resource for 100 times so first thing is to create 50 threads uh, we are going to create uh, we'll call it my thread okay so these are uh, 50 thread objects and now we need to initialize them Uh, what's important here is uh, when you create uh, a standard thread uh, this object represents a thread but your thread uh, will not be uh, executed until it's uh, initialized so once you initialize a thread uh, then it will be um, executed so let's uh, initialize all those 50 threads so I'm just going to say my current thread is STD uh, thread well uh, how to initialize a thread uh, we need to assign him a function uh, that will uh, be executed in a separate thread that can be uh, some existing function or can be some new function for example in this case it can be a lambda function as well uh, maybe the most important uh, appropriate uh, solution so what uh, that function needs to do uh, it needs to access a shared resource like in this case uh, it is the variable n that is located in form 1 so we'll have a capture clause and in order to access that variable n I believe it's the most uh, simple solution is to um, uh, capture everything by reference here uh, it doesn't have to uh, I mean doesn't need to have any parameters and what it needs to do is to um, uh, increment the uh, shared resource for 100 times so I'm just going to say here this 
and in order to um, simulate a concurrent environment I'm just going to say sleep 10 10 milliseconds just to give enough time for all those threads and not to finish too early but to uh, have uh, have them intertwine uh, on their executions and uh, after this is done I need to close the brackets uh, of this uh, here I believe okay so the point is that uh, if we uh, go back to uh, tthread implementation uh, when creating a thread using tthread you have this parameter here uh, and this pretty much means uh, is my thread suspended upon creation or if it's immediately uh, running after it's created and uh, pretty much allows you to create a suspended thread but with a standard C++ library you don't have such option uh, you don't you cannot just create a, a suspended thread meaning once it's initialized uh, that's it it automatically starts running uh, and um, if for some reason you need to uh, have a suspended thread then uh, you can still probably um, I mean, you, you probably can uh, uh, use the thread implementation rather than, than this standard implement implementation. Uh, now uh, we have initialized overall 50 uh, threads and we need to wait them to finish. As in this case here, we have created 50 threads and uh, we waited them to finish. So we are going to do the same thing here. Uh, how to wait a uh, standard th thread to finish um, this is going to be a current thread we are going to use join method so join will uh, uh, wait for a current thread to finish and after we have uh, waited all those threads to finish then we'll show the result okay now let's see We click here and again we have incorrect result which is probably going to be also inconsistent and we see that here oh we forgot to um, set n to zero each time we run the code right And we already know why this is happening because multiple threads are accessing the shared resource at the same time. Uh, in the case of tthread, uh, we use the critical section uh, object, uh, and we had used enter critical section and leave critical section. When it comes to uh, C++ standard library, uh, at least at this moment, uh, critical se section object doesn't exist. But what exists is uh, mutex object. So we can use mutex. Okay, and what I can simply do here is to say my mutex dot lock. Okay, this is locking the access, and I'm going to use unlock to unlock the access to this uh, uh, shared resource or this part of the code. And now, once I run the application. I get a correct result okay so now you see uh, the same example uh, implemented in two different ways uh, what we, what can we say about to, to, uh, those two different approaches well uh, t-thread like I said um, it's maybe convenient uh, when you uh, want to have a, a suspended thread but uh, probably the biggest downside is that for each of those thread you need to create a separate class and that class uh, needs to have its header file and cpp implementation file so the compile time is uh, is uh, slower because you have additional files in your project and when it comes to a standard c++ approach uh, well i'm actually pleasantly surprised because uh, first of all we we don't use uh, pointers we don't need to dynamically allocate any of those objects they are simply objects on stack here and uh, we don't need to uh, create separate classes uh, or compile additional files so uh, 
I believe this is a very good solution as well but like I said you don't have an option to suspend the thread upon creation and maybe if you need uh, that approach uh, you can still use uh, the thread uh, as well. Well uh, that's about it for today like always if you have any questions please uh, be free to contact me uh, in your comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.